What is going on, everybody? It's actually cold enough that I need to leave the heaters on. That's what that sound is in the background. Sorry about that. Also, this is a Moon Horse try. This is a special one. Because uh, I'm going to try something by Abita. And I like Abita. Abita makes one of my favorite beers. They make more than one. But you know what I mean. Anyway, I have never had this one. Um... I saw it at the store today, and I figured I should try it. It's called Maison Blanc, and how do I describe this? Uh, Maison Blanc is the best of both worlds, brewed with malted barley, wheat, and Savon Blanc grapes. The taste is light and dry, like your favorite house whites, with crisp characteristics of elegance. Oh. That, that's that's setting the bar pretty fucking high, huh? I Like I said, I've never had this. I really like the bottle design. There used to be... There used to be a store in Louisiana called Maison Blanc. I don't know if they're still around, but it just made me think about that. I don't know why that stuck in my head, but when I saw it, I was just like, oh yeah, that's a thing. So, I'm gonna open it. Let's get our fancy unicorn bottle opener and use that, because that's how I fucking do. Okay. Alright. It's open. So, let's, um... Ooh, let's give it a... Let's, uh... Well, it just kind of smells like beer. It doesn't really have, like, a distinct scent. It's just, uh... It's just kind of normal... Normal beer. Normal, uh... You know... I don't really smell anything different, but we'll give it a shot. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it and then I'll tell you. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Okay, yeah, I can get into this. Um How do I describe it though? That's that's the hard part, isn't it? Um, hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's, I mean, the beer taste is very much there. It's a Bita, and all of their beers are incredibly rich. They're not strong. The flavors are always very rich, which is one of the reasons why I really like them. Uh, all that really comes through, and yeah, yeah, it's, it's, huh, it's got kind of a fruity taste to it. It's not, it's not a real strong fruity taste. It's, like, very much like grapes. You can taste, like, the... Like the green or white grapes, you know, um, coupled with the, you know, what you expect um, beer to taste like. But it's it's an interesting flavor. I, I kind of like it. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. That's pretty good. It's weird, but it's good. I like weird though. You guys know me. I like weird. Um, huh. Who'd have thought? So yeah, it's, it's actually pretty good. Um, I actually really like it. I love the design of the, um, <laughs> of the label and stuff. It's, it's very, uh, very French Louisiana. It's, <laughs> it's very, very that. Um, do I recommend it? Um, uh, I mean, Yeah. I mean, I'd give it a shot. Uh, down here, the the taxes on stuff are a little high, so it was about eight to ten dollars for a six pack of this. Um, it may be cheaper where you are, depends on alcohol and tobacco taxes and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I, of course, I'm also you know, like I said, I'm I'm biased when it comes to Abita because I really like Abita. Um, I like their beers. Uh, Songo has now gotten into those as well. They're they're kind of our favorites uh, up there with like Guinness and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I'd recommend giving this a shot. It's it's actually pretty good. It's a little odd, but if you like odd taste, you like something kind of you know a little out there, a little unique, then you'd probably enjoy this. It's not bad. It's not bitter. It's not like drinking like an extra stout where everything's kind of bitter. Um, no, it's very rich. Uh, that is the one thing I do have to say about Avita is none of their stuff ever has that kind of like 
when somebody makes a, a brew that's like really stout or anything like that and it kind of has that weird burnt taste to it you never really get that with abita um all of abita's beers are very flavorful and incredibly rich i don't I couldn't begin to tell you how they do that. I don't really know anything about the beer making process. I like the end result, but <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's good though. It's really good. I, I could definitely see buying this multiple times. This this is really good. So yeah, that's um, Maison Blanc, uh, Abita. If you can find it, give it a shot. If you're into that kind of thing. If not, that's cool too. So, yeah, I just figured I'd try something new for you guys, because I like to do that, and I like to share these kind of things with you guys, because you're my friends and I love you. So, uh, that's it. If you have anything you'd like me to try, or if you want to send me a... Well, okay, you can't do that in the same thing. I'm fucking it up. If you have anything you want me to try, the P.O. Box to send all that is in the description down below. Uh, if you have a story or anything you want to send me that isn't physical, you can send it to r slash moonhorsestories. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I have a Patreon and a merch store if you want to keep the lights on in here, and if you want to buy something kind of cool. There's, there's some pretty cool stuff on there. Threadless makes some good shit, man, I'm just saying. I love you all so very much, and I'll see you in the next episode. A goodbye!